Was there ever a game console as a kid that you wanted, but your parents wouldn't buy it for you, or you just couldn't afford? Let's talk about it. Welcome back, retro gaming fans. It's been a while, but Scott had Taco Bell, and he needed time to recover. Oh my God! Really, you're going that way? Yeah. I would just say Sam is too good for us. He's he was like, no, mm -mm, no, no one's watching anyway, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. No. no it's okay. I, I, watched, just... I watched the Big Bang Theory and was like, you know what? I think I can do better. Hey, this I isn't fun with flags. Bell. It almost sounds like you say Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Watch your anyway, mouth, young man. This is a we are going podcast. off the rails already. Is it, though? Already. I was going to say, I don't think the most family-friendly we get is the first five seconds of this podcast. And we already blew that. Yep. We're gone. Well, Good night, everybody. TVMA. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. We're, we're I, if on I the 9 o'clock. If I would have had a fart sound effect. USA. Oh my god. No, if I would have had a fart sound Why effect, I would have been like, Bleh. I... I'll do it for next time. Okay. But then the All joke right, would be there, saying. so... Guys, I'm just saying, Scott doesn't need a sound effect for it if he's eaten anything today. Wow. See? See? He had Taco Bell and he needed time to recover. Next you know, he's going to be telling uh, about the story when uh, we went to a convention together, but I'm not going to go that way. I swear to God, it sounded like he knocked a hole in the wall. I just heard, bam! <laughs> About 3 a.m., I shot out of bed, and I was like, what was that? And Scott's just sitting there giggling. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Wow. Anyway. Okay. So, let's get back on topic. Otherwise, it's just going to be like 20 minutes of us just talking smack about each other. We're not even three Scott minutes Martin. in. 20 minutes, Scott. That could be an entire hour-long podcast. That, that could last me the entire drive from here to Phoenix. But yet, you're not going to Phoenix. I don't you're need all the to way over there shit. in Arizona. Yeah, if I'm going to talk trash, man, I can just <laughs> do that for free. But we need those Twitch subs, so... We're not on Twitch, are we? Sponsorship didn't come through. Ah, okay. So, consoles, huh? Yeah, consoles that we wanted as a child that we had no access to or couldn't afford. Yep. So I, I'd like to preface this that I am 35. These two are in their mid-50s. Uh, Excuse me, young man. No. Would you like to get off my lawn, please? Sam is... Barely, what, 40, 41? I'm 44. I'm 41. See? Okay. All right, all right. I'll, I'll take my, I'll, I'll take my, uh, my corrections. Uh, so, suffice to say, though, they were both old enough to uh, be purchasing consoles when they were, uh, when the good ones were coming out. I was a child, so mine will be more... I did buy a Super Nintendo when I was 16. Yeah, my stories will be more along lines of like, I had, I didn't have access to them, but I knew people who had them. Scots are going to be, you know, oh, I just wanted this one so badly, but you know, what, what, 150 bucks was too much back in the 1970s? That could buy a really? lot of Taco Bell. Yeah, they could buy a lot of Taco Bell. That's like five wow. crunch wraps. Yeah. Anyway, Five and a half if you go to the nice one. So, <clears throat> I will get started because otherwise we're just going to be taking pot shots at each other all night or all day or whenever you listen to this. So, as a kid, I used to read uh, video game magazines at my friends' houses or I was cheap. I would read them in the supermarket until they got smart and kicked me out. 
for the Gen Z and Gen Alpha among us, a magazine was a collection of articles on written paper. Anyway, so... <laughs> anyway, so what I was interested in in those were some of the consoles that I didn't have access to. I mean, I had friends with Sega's, Nintendo's, I had a Atari, Nintendo, you know, all that. One of them I was really interested in because I played some of the games. There was an arcade that I've mentioned a couple times before, I believe, that used to have the um, uh, Neo Geo arcade machines. And because of some of those games, I really wanted a Neo Geo because I understand that they were almost the same games. And if I'm not mistaken, the games are... They were basically the size of a VHS. Yeah, I should. I think they were bigger. Something like that. And so they they were were essentially the same games that were in those arcade machines. And I really wanted to to experience a Neo Geo and play it. But if I remember correctly, that was like $600 or something like that at the time, which would translate to $2,000 today or something. Another one I was interested in was the uh, Turbo Graphics 16, which I believe um, was a lot more popular in Japan. But it came out in this country and it was pretty good. It was, just, it was, uh, I believe, it was uh, NEC's first and only game console, and it was pretty cool. It looked like it was more powerful than Super Nintendo and everything at the time, and I really wanted it. And I just had no access to it because I didn't know anyone who had it. I couldn't, uh, I, it was not in stores and most of the games that I used to get and all the consoles I used to get were from, um, uh, a used bookstore called Bookman's in, in Tucson. Um, Hey, 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 the sponsorship didn't go through. Don't name drop. Shut up. Anyway, um, I used to frequent the place so much that I was there six, seven days a week, and I used to walk, walk, you know, like, you know. Um, I think it was uh, two and a half, three miles each way just to walk over there. I could have hopped a bus or something, but I would just walk over there, and this is when I was anywhere from 13 years old all the way up to, like, 17 or 18 yeah, back when we used to be able to go places by ourselves as kids, you know, free range kids. Anyway, so those are my my real stories. I mean, other than that, I've always kind of as as an adult kind of wanted a ColecoVision and television and stuff like that, and just never knew anybody that had one that would sell it to me. What about you, Sam? Yeah, with the Neo Geo. I agree with that one because I saw in a magazine, I think the game was Overtop, like one of the kind of isometric racing games. And I'm like, ooh, that's really cool. But I was extremely ignorant of anything that was like anything beyond an NES. So I kept trying to figure out where this game was from and what it was played on. And I'm like, dude, I want to play this game really bad. And it said Neo Geo. And I'm like, okay, that must be the people who publish it. But what's the console? And it turned out to be the Neo Geo home console. But I believe, like you said, um, the console and then the arcades, I think they were supposed to be like really, really close to, you know, the same graphics and whatnot, if not the same. I think Um, it was You talking about the... Probably. uh, You talking about the Turbo Graphics, I, I wasn't really aware of that until much later in my life. Although I wish I knew about it when I was younger, because now, kind of like, you know, in retrospect, I really do want one. But obviously, those have shot up in price to the point where those are still unobtainable for me. <laughs> um, mine's pretty boring, though. Again, you know, the Neo Geo and like the Atari Lynx, um, maybe the Virtual Boy. I know that kind of sounds stupid. But I went into, I think it was a Sears. Remember where, what those were? When you actually went into a thing called a mall, where a lot of people congregated and drank Orange Julius and did their hey, hair. Hey, and malls malls still exist, but now what they do is it's just people that are going in there to see just how empty the places are. That's true. 
No, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of videos online of people being like dead mall, and it's just everybody with cameras pointing around and looking like, oh, it's a dead mall. There are some like, malls that oh. are actually not dead, but my uh, my local mall is not dead. It um uh, it no longer has the goth girl subculture that we uh, have been attempting to exterminate, but uh, <laughs> it's not dead. Well, if it doesn't have goth girls, then it is dead to me. A if fair there's opinion. no hot topic, buddy, I'm not going there. Oh no, there is a hot topic. They just no longer have the uh, the oh. big spiky gate in front of it. It's just like all plexiglass now. Oh, and well, like a regular door. They need to go back to like you know late nineties hot topic. Well, there's one the big metal gate, there... the band shirts. Yeah. <laughs> this went now from okay, top to so like if you want a mall that is actually dying in Tucson, go to Tucson Mall. That mall was dying when I worked there 13 years ago. Go to Elcon. Elcon's not Elcon even real. Exist. They tore the mall down, and it's just now doors. It's like a, it's like a, an open air mall now, kind of thing. Um, it used to be an indoor anyways, mall. So it did, it did, and it used to have. The best movie theater before the century replaced it. The old movie theater was so good. Anyways, on the subject of consoles, uh, growing up, I did not get my first real console, like my own first real console, until I was 18 and I moved out on my own and I got myself an Xbox 360. Um, before that, I did have an NES and a Sega Genesis growing up. I didn't know that there was more until late, much later in life. Uh, I, uh, about six or seven years ago, I found, I bought my first Atari 2600, uh, which then proceeded to not work. And I spent probably the equivalent cost of what they used to be buying parts to try and figure out why it didn't work. Um, I have seen a couple Coleco Visions come through my way. Haven't had a chance to purchase any of them. Uh, big thing was this lack of access for me. Um, growing up, uh, my stepbrother had an N64, a PS2, and I was not allowed to touch them. Uh, I remember the one time that I did go out of my way and I played uh, Call of Duty, I think it was Red Alert, on the N64. And he found out and it was a nightmare. Call of Duty, Red Alert. No, not Call of Duty. Command and Conquer. Command and Conquer. I was I was about to say. <laughs> I I'm I'm not the brightest bulb in the room, but I got the most books on my shelf. Thank you, sir. Uh and then when I was I think I was seventeen when the PS3 dropped, and my yeah, that's how young I got he is. my little yep child. Uh, my little brother got one, and again, it was one of those instances of I was not allowed to mess with it. My parents also had a desktop that I wasn't allowed to touch either, so, I mean, my whole life was, was uh, what I can't do. Oh, very much so. He's the uh, the second-born child, but he's the junior, so. Uh... <laughs> but that's enough about my family. Um, but no, as an adult, I've just, it's become one of those things of, uh, do do I want it? Yeah, I want it. Can I afford it? No, but I'm going to get it anyways. That's what being an adult is. Exactly. I can't afford it, but I can barely squeeze by if I buy it, but I won't go in the red. Yeah. It's making decisions and then regretting them later. That's adulthood. As exampled by uh, my Game Boys up above my head. Hey, there's things I want you. To, I still want you to keep looking out for me in your store, but I have no money right now to send it to. You. Anyway, I had an television come in, but that guy picked it up literally the, the day after he brought it in. That sucks. And then of I course was, my P, my cry. PSP totally. died, and then I sent it to Sam. But um, yep. Then of course you get a PSP, and I'm like, hmm, maybe I should not return it. After I get done with what I was doing with it, but I'm too honest. I've uh, I got this nifty little thing. 
Do either of you know what it is? Yes, it's an at game Sega Genesis emulator type machine. God damn. Okay, fine. Hang on a second. The company that makes it is called At Games. They make a lot of those system on a chip car, er, consoles. What about this? Looks like a GB Boy color. It is an Abernick, uh emulator. It's got like 300 odd games on it. But then, of course, I have the ultimate game console. D&D Dice. Really? You do realize I've got like 45 full sets. I may have a problem. <laughs> yeah, I, I sent Scott some D&D dice and he told me it was an incomplete set and he started yelling at me and called me a loser. And I just, you know, I found it at a thrift store and I thought I was doing a, a solid, but no, look at me, an incomplete dice set. How dare you? How yeah. dare you not know that it was missing the D4? Actually, I don't remember if it was missing anything at all. I just wanted to paint him as an asshole. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty easy. The sad Look at thing him. is, though, the sad thing is, though, the D four is the easy one to miss until you step on it. I don't know where I put my dice. Like, what do you what do you think's worth? Stepping on a Lego or stepping on an actual Caltrop? You mean a D four? Yeah. Because anyway. guess what? I set up on both of those. Anyway, uh, back on consoles. Um, Scott, what do you think of the... Uh, what do you think of the... the, uh, the um, those little mini arcade ones? The What are they? One-ups or... I want to get the Ninja Turtle one. I kind of want to get the four-player one, but I don't have any friends that would want to play with me. At least not in Nebraska. I am not in Nebraska. Okay. And you know exactly where I'm at. Okay, Missouri. Close. No, oh, wait, wait, nope, nope. I know where he is. I know where he is. He's in Utah. God no. How is Utah any worse than fucking Kansas? I let's just put it this way. I have no problem with the religion. I just don't like missionaries. Scott, you already don't drink. What like you got nothing to lose moving to Utah? Hey, I'm a caffeine addict. I have a problem, and a lot of them don't drink caffeine. Caffeine addict, he says, to the guy who drinks a cup of coffee, a monster, a cup of coffee. A monster, a monster, another monster, and then goes to bed. Your heart's going to explode one of these days. Oh, absolutely. And at this I point, I'm okay with it. I hope I'm sitting here talking to you, and like you say something stupid about Superman, and I start schooling you, and then all of a sudden I just... <clears throat> I mean, everyone knows that Batman is far superior. <laughs> you know what you know what my preference is. It's not Batman. <laughs> no. It's the uh it's the naked guy. Wait, the what? Flash. The incredible no. Flash. No. It's uh Green Lantern. Just not Guy Gardner. Guy Gardner's the best one and you fucking know it. Anyway, let's go back to game consoles because we're off on this little tent. Tangent and Sam has no clue what we're talking about. What yeah, console? I'm, I'm still on dead malls. <laughs> what console was the um <clears throat> the X Men game on? Which one? Oh my god! It was a side scroller. You could play as Wolverine, Cyclops, Gambit, Nightcrawler, and Rogue. And I think I think you could play a storm too. Are you talking about X Men Mutant Apocalypse? Probably. What console was that on? It's the it's on the console that it's on. I'm kidding. Okay, it's on SNES. 
Thank you. That's not a very good picture. Hold on. Dag nabbit. Flab nabbit. nabbit. Here. Yep, that's the one. Super Nintendo. That's it. I'm pretty sure it was also on Sega Genesis, though. Because I recall playing the crap out of it. And I never had a Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo Chalmers? This has evolved into talking about games when we were supposed to talk about consoles. Well, I think we I mean, finished that subject, didn't we? Like, there's I not a lot probably you can did. say about consoles. Yeah, there's I'm not like, a lot you can say about consoles that you wanted, but you can definitely talk about games you remember, and that's why you wanted that console. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, I wanted a PS2 so bad because I wanted Marvel vs. <laughs> Capcom, and I never got it until I had a PS2. I think it was on. I think it was on. Uh, I think it was Marvel Capcom three. That was the one I that I finally got. I had a, I had a PS, uh, yeah, I had a PS two Slim, and then I got a, the original, like X Men, the <clears throat> official game. That sounds so stupid. Like, there's this pizza place that I used to go to a lot when I was a kid, and they had Marvel vs. Capcom, uh, the cabinet, and I was. I, I I was acid and I was terrible, but dude, I, I used to play that. Game. I used to play that at a Circle K on my way home from work, and right next to it was Dungeons and Dragons, some something about Mistara. I don't remember which one that one was. Strange things are afoot at the Circle K, and it's Scott playing an arcade cabinet. Shadow. Oh. Shadow over Mistara, yeah, that's a good one. No, that's, that's a good one. Yeah. Anyway, now we got weird. But yeah, it was a fun arcade game. It kind of reminded me of Battle Axe, but it was D and D or Battle Axe, Golden Axe. Talk about being an idiot. Golden Axe. That was another good one. I played the shit out of Golden Axe on my. Uh, I had the uh, the Sega Classics game. It was like a cartridge that had uh, like Golden Axe and. Yeah, Shinobi Six Two. Okay, oh, okay, smartass. What were the th- what were the other five games then? There was Sonic. Uh, there was uh, probably Echo the Dolphin. I had nope. you googling it. Mother- yeah, see, it wasn't Echo. It was <laughs> Columns, son. This is columns. when the AI thing for your eyes would have been totally good, where you're just staring at the screen, <laughs> pretending like you know what you're doing. I mean, I, I, googling. I mean, I could. I could totally do that. Golden Axe, no, Sonic the Hedgehog, gold. Shinobi, Columns, Streets of Rage, and Super Hang On. There you go. Echo the Dolphin. And then there was a, or maybe it was the Se- maybe it was the Sega CD version that had Echo. I don't remember. It's been forever. They did try and push Echo on everything. To be fair, it was a fun game. It, it, it was. You know, Echo right. Junior was a lot of fun. You're right. Like that for was being a baby like game, it was, but it was fun. And that's one console I wish I never got rid of, man. My CDX. You don't know. Didn't you CDX have? Is, uh, you? Didn't you get your hands on the uh, a Famicom for a little bit? No, <clears throat> I wanted to. I mean, everybody wants to. I thought you had one, though. Do I look that cool? Mr. No. Scott sends me a link to eBay auctions where they're selling. I think you needed to refurbish them yourself. And I'm like, yeah, buy 10 of them. And he doesn't buy any of them. Yeah, they're like 12 bucks each, I think. Yeah. That is the CDX. Genesis cartridge up on top. And then Sega CD here. Controller plugs in here and here. And you could actually put batteries in the back and use this as a discman. Now think, 
how many of those have gone through thrift stores and people just think they're little Walkmans? Oh, probably a lot. I bought mine at Bookman's for a hundred bucks and then I sold it and I never should have because now they're selling for anywhere from uh, five to seven hundred dollars. You keep mentioning them and they're just, I, I don't like them anymore. They've become GameStop, but with an attitude. I know. They used to sell things for 50% of brand new, and then they would give you a quor- or 50% of what they sell in trade. Now they give you like 25% of what they sell it for, and then they sell it for 80 to 90% of new, which is annoying. They're not as I good was, as they uh, used to be 25 years ago. As you, can, as you can possibly see, if I tilt my head the right direction, uh, I collect Pokemon stuff. And I don't care if it's in a box or if it's... Honestly, I don't even care if it's playable or not. I just want to have it in my collection. Uh, there was a rumor coming out for the new uh, the new release that they were going to do that it was going to be a remake of uh, Black and White. And so I'm like, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Bookman's. I'm gonna see, you know, what are they charging? They are charging almost 15 percent over eBay prices for gar- guaranteed certified with boxes. For you want to know something sad. What's that? They were selling. They were selling a game that I know for a fact was selling at GameStop for less. And this is yeah. ShameStop we're talking about. I mean GameStop. Sorry. I was looking at. Uh, they had black and they had a copy of both black and white. They were selling them each for a hundred and thirty dollars. eBay every was time selling you say them. Black or white, or... Every, every time you say that, I think of the Michael Jackson song. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> eBay was selling them for between 100 to 110 for inbox certified with the uh, pamphlets and everything. And uh, Schmuckman's was selling them just the cartridge for 130 bucks. I was I, I even went to the guys at the counter and I was like, hey, you guys know you're charging way more than online. Like I would love to support my local business, but if you're charging more than what they're charging online for a better version of it why would i even consider working with you guys and the guy uh-huh. looked at me and said well you can take your business elsewhere then that was the plan buddy i'm like like i said i would love to support a local business but they have become gamestop with a just with a worse attitude you know i have what? a feeling that uh this is going to be the one episode of our podcast that gets seen by somebody that works there, and oh, I no. get banned. Well, I don't live. In, I don't live walking. in Tucson anymore, so it doesn't matter to me. They're going to see me walk in, and they're going to be like, "That get him out." They'll have your face on the wall. They'll be like, "This guy here, nope." <laughs> the amount of money I've spent there, my face should already be on the wall. But you know, that's another discussion. The, uh, you know, the owner of Bookman's almost became my best friend's uh, stepdad. Bob Schlesinger. Small town. Anyway, so back to games. Otherwise, we're just going to be, you know, crapping on one store all the time. That used to be my favorite hey. store. Now it's it's lost its shine. Hey, Squibbly Scooter. What was your favorite N64 game? I'll let you know when I find it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, what Rogue Squadron? Rogue Squadron, good, good, solid choice. Uh, I also have a Star Wars game for mine. Mine was Pod Racers. What about you, Samuel? I'm trying to illuminate my N64 game so I can tell you, but it's basically <laughs> the one where you destroy stuff. Blast Corpse. There we go. There you go. What was oh, what was the, the game that came with the console when you bought it brand new? I don't know. I think I seem to remember Turok used to come with one of the consoles. I don't know. Good. Turok was good stuff. Uh, was it was it Adventure sixty four? I don't know. I'm googling. 
I remember there being like a like a goofy, cute little wizard game that you play that uh, it was like super easy, but like nobody cared about it. Packet games. Let's see. Looking at a white screen, it's very, very engrossing. Sadly, the N sixty four only had like. No, they had a couple RPGs. Never Donkey mind. Kong 64 had... was the original Great game. Uh, pack-in game. Great game. Broke many uh, many broken fingers trying to get the uh, uh, the, mem- the uh, memory expansion in. Uh, and then GameCube. That was the one that had the game I wanted. Or I, I had, but I want to get again because I was an idiot. Anyway, sorry, I what saw game something was, in what game was it? What game Zelda was it on Collector's GameCube? Collection. Zelda Collector's Collection. I used to own it, and then I sold it, and was I thought, it? oh, I'll get it back again, and then it jumped up to like 70 bucks for a, a game that came free with a freaking console. For me, it was uh, Custom Robo on the, on the GameCube. Love that game. Oh, yeah. I want that game back so badly and everywhere you look for it, it first off i didn't know how huge custom robo was in japan like custom robo is like like if you were to do like a tier system custom robo is probably like fourth or fifth in the line because like it's huge over there they've it's on every console over there it's on uh the the ds the 2ds the 3ds it's on all of those it's on they have it on like it there you can get Japanese versions of it for PlayStation. It's massive. It's almost as big as like Dragon Quest. Almost as big. Almost. And what's I, funny I is I said Dragon Quest specifically to Pop Scott, and he didn't even look at the camera when I said it. Well, there was a reason I was doing that. You were you were talking about a game that was big in Japan, and I was like, Well, then there's this game. Come on. We all know who it is. I, I didn't know that I didn't know that Slime had his own game. Actually he does. He does. Is that gonna be a first play game. Friday someday? Nope. Because I played it. I beat it. Uh now well, I gave to show a plug you what the game another... is. Gave a plug to another series we're doing, but Scott fucked it up. As I always do. Oh, oh, was that was that plug a uh, a certain uh, FPF? Yep. Ah, we're re- we're reviving that finally. Yes, and what's sad is not you're like, in episode one. Talking, I did episode uh, two oh, with right. Sam's audio, and then I haven't done any more. But wasn't my audio screwed up and it it ruined it or something? Yeah, it's, I consider it a lost episode. I didn't feel like re-recording it because then it wouldn't feel as genuine. Yeah, I have integrity. I could dub it. I need to get rid of that. Just send me, send me the the video, and oh I'll be like, god. "Oh my gosh, that is funny!" Ha ha ha. Yeah, no. I'll, I'll no. just send it to you. You can transcribe it. And put the subtitles on it. <laughs> uh, my anyway. wife and I joke a lot about uh, how we can't hear without our subtitles. So that's a millennial thing, I think. You youngins, we don't understand. I'm sorry, Scott. I didn't realize you didn't know how to read. No, to me, they're distracting. I feel my, if I myself watching the where the words are. Instead of watching the movie, just so I don't miss anything being said. Yeah. Spoken but like a I did, true run anime fan. I'm not. Anyway, you know, I watched the new Godzilla movie in an English dub. On which Netflix. new which Godzilla movie? Okay, minus one. Yeah, uh, I heard the I heard the English dub was really good. I haven't had a chance to actually watch it yet because I don't have mm-hmm. the flicks. I thought of it was that. a. I thought it was pretty good. I signed up for it so I could watch um, three things. Season two of Star Trek Prodigy, which is amazing and probably one of the best Star Treks ever made. Anyway. Lower decks, but okay, continue. You should watch Prodigy. Anyway, so then I got it for Axel F. 
you know, Beverly Hills Cop 4. It was fun. Come on. Anyway, and then uh, part one of three for Cobra Kai that just came out on the 18th, and I watched all five episodes back to back. And now Wait, there's new episodes of Cobra Kai? Yeah. There's new episodes of Cobra Kai? God damn. Only five out all of the, the 15. Parts? I don't know, because well, what they're doing one? is... The first five episodes came out this month. The next five are in November, and then the, the last five will be sometime next year. It's stupid. And they also did that with that 90s show. Well, Probably, maybe not because, three part, At because least it, part of it. it. It does have six episodes for that 90s show, and then it seems to end on a cliffhanger, so I'm assuming they're doing more. I think I've heard somebody no, say with... officially part one of season two. Not with everything that happened with uh, Danny Masterson and all that. They're just they're gonna let it, they're oh, gonna no. let dead dogs die. He's not even touching it. He's he's not even involved with any of season one or season two. Yeah, but uh, Kelso, Jackie, Red, Kitty. O- okay, all, October twenty like, fourth. Oh no, um, that ninety show part two of season two will be released on October twenty fourth. And it's got the all the original cast except for Danny Masterson. At least popping in once or twice during the show. Anyway. And who's it? Now we're, there, now there we're, we're talking about TV of, shows. Well, yeah, because there were a lot of TV shows and movies that could have translated to fun games, even with yeah. the limited capacities that we had back in the, in, in the 90s. Hey, you that's an episode for another day. That is a good idea. That's an idea we've had since the beginning. I mean, for video game to movie and movie to video game translations. Yeah, it's just anyway. the fact that I'm too lazy to watch. And some of them, some of them that did come out were amazing. Like the uh, the old Star Wars arcade game. Come on. Yeah, but then there are some that are terrible, like that Star Wars Pod Racer game. I love that game. <laughs> I'm gonna. I, I I have it on my Switch. When I when I tried streaming on uh on on the the purple site, uh that was the first game that I tried to that I streamed to a grand total of zero viewers. That's okay. When I start streaming again, which will be soon, I will be streaming to nobody. You should uh, take a page out of Sam's book over there and get yourself a PNG tuber. I keep telling him I'll get him the software so it'll be moving around instead of just in one piece, but no. Because he's just embarrassed now that he's, you know, so old he's lost all of his hair. Yeah, I was going to say, you can't be lying to the audience anymore. I need a new avatar. Well, find me one. Can he be a a fire genasi? I'm not sure what that is. You it's a D and D thing. To explain that to me. Yeah, it's a D and D thing. So what I'll do is I'll just cut the top of your head off in this avatar and just make it vaguely round, and then say it's your well, avatar. Well, I mean, you've got all the other stuff on the side of the head there. And I don't know. Anyway, we'll just say that the lava burned it off. How's that sound? Step too close to the sun, get burned. Yes. See, this is this is Sam's new look. <laughs> anyway, for those of you who are listening to the podcast, the video is. I mean, not going to see anything. Pop basically, up Sam with person. essentially a static image for his video, and then there's cameras for the rest of us. You know that are have joined the twentieth. 21st century. Actually, no, that was last year or last century technology. So yeah, 20th century technology. Hey, I, I'm just I'm just saying Sam is next is next level though. He is he's a character now. He is he can be he could be anything. Like he could be, you know, a fire genasi, which he doesn't know what it is. He could we could we could load up one day and all of a sudden like what the hell? Why is Batman on our podcast? Oh, it's just Sam. Yeah. Or I can be the Sam Man. 
Um, you know, the fifth Ninja he Turtle is a Oasis. girl. The fifth Ninja okay. Turtle, it, her name is Jenica, and right, she used to be a Foot Clan member, and she had a transfusion of blood from one of the turtles, and she mutated into a turtle herself. So, I guess All now right. you're a girl. Okay. Okay, so that is I'm just I'm just saying. I'm I just hope saying. nobody was offended by that. Scott is Scott is your Ninja Turtles lore dump guy. Um, if you ever want to like let him feel really good about himself, just ask him a Ninja Turtles question and just let him lore dump to you for a little bit. It's like a back scratcher for the inside of his brain. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to do the same for, for uh... no, I, I can't really call him uh, Sad Viking anymore because he cut all of his hair off. But anyway, you can do the same about Sam. Or not Sam, Andrew and uh, Superman. Now, if you want to do a Sam, it's probably a NASCAR. Hey, now, stop talking about them NASCARs over there. They's just wrecking. Leave them alone. They're making right, another t- left turn. They're going left. Oh, they're going left again. Oh, no, All right, that we, should right we should wrap this up because we should wrap this up because we have gone way off the rails. We don't, we're not even talking on a topic anymore. No, I, I knew that this episode was going to be short because there really wasn't much to talk about. It was just something to get up and get out so that people could listen and probably stop listening. So that way people can listen to our dulcet tones on their drive to work or home after a long day at work. You know, you like Scott, ride, baby. There, are people, there are people who go online and look up hour-long video essays on topics that they enjoy. Just so that way they have something to listen to in the car. To feel like there's someone there to talk to. And that's what a podcast is. Exactly. Now, if, now Dude, just imagine I used to listen podcasts. to like eight or nine podcasts a night when I was working as a donut fryer at a grocery store. So I, I were say we know how that is. Donut fryer, more like donut eater. Anyway, so let's call it a... a, a a day or night or evening or drive, whatever, whatever this is. Scott needs his Taco Bell. I need to get a fart uh, sound effect so I can just blast it every time you mention that. Again, like yeah. I said, all you have to do is make sure you eat something that day, the day before, and then you'll have your fart sound effect. Yeah. You do you really expect me to put my microphone up to my butt and then put it back up to my mouth? No, I, I expect you to I'm get like a lavalier mic already. and put it down there. Get one of those uh, those blue snow globe mics. Uh oh, what's he looking for? Oh my god, ambient farts! Hold on. Season one of uh, Letter Kenny coming at you right now. I mean, I got wireless ones. That'll just, clip right to your butthole hair. Oh, no. I That sounds very uncomfortable. <laughs> we're just going to be sitting here one day. And we're, just gonna be, we're all just going to be talking. We're just going to be bullshitting. And then next thing you know, you're going to hear, blamp. Scott's going to look ashamed and stand up and be like, I'll be right back, guys. Come back. And like, I, like, thought oh, it was, hey, Andrew, I thought it was a fart. He's gonna make, he's gonna come back and be like, hey Andrew, remember that time I told you at work that I had to throw my underwear away? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That's when you don't trust a fart. <laughs> anyway, no, that's what happens when all... you eat a Dollar General every day. No, it wasn't every day. It was every day. You and I would stop there on our way into work and get just like snacks and lunch food. Every day, it was chips, chips, hey. and hot pockets and pizza rolls. All right, I'm gonna end this uh, podcast here because we're we're gonna be weird. We're getting too off topic. We yeah. are, we are getting way but off topic. That, that might be what gets us more viewers. Yeah, I mean honestly. Well. well you can visit us at our socials if you have any comments on this. And uh, please have comments. Just tell us please. how you think. I would love to hear some stories. 
Yeah. So anyway, on one side is the video YouTube thinks you should watch. On the other side, it's what we think you should watch. See you guys later. I think you should watch something by any YouTuber that's better than us. And now I know. Taco Bell.